Uh, thank you for coming to tonight's extraordinary meeting. So um, first of all, we've got public question time. Um, we haven't, con um, I can't consciously see anyone as members of the public, but does any councillor wish to speak as a member of the public? Can't see anyone. Okay. All right. We'll move on. Okay. Um, on to item 106, which is public bodies. Um, obviously the meeting's being recorded by the clerk. Does anyone else wish to record the meeting? Nope. Okay. Okay, Liz, could you give us the apologies for absence, please? Yep. Apologies from uh, Councillor Paul Davis. Councillor Donald Firth has a Kirklees meeting tonight. Apologies from Councillor Charles Greve. And apologies from Councillor Sarah Sheard. Okay, thank you very much for those. Okay, um, item 108, receive members' interests in items on the agenda and any written requests for new DPIs. Anybody got anything? Can't see anybody flagging anything. Okay, let's move on. Um, to receive officers' interests in items on the agenda? No. No. Okay, thank you. And consider whether any items on the agenda should be discussed in private. I should say all of it should be discussed in private. Is that a proposal, Councillor Roberts? It is, yes. Okay, does anyone wish to second Councillor Roberts' request for it to be heard in private? Um, yeah, Kath. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right, can we take a vote on whether, um, which, sorry, which parts of the meeting, Councillor Roberts, is it all of it? Well, I would suggest so, yes. Okay, all right, can we, Councillor Pogson, do you want to unmute? I, I don't think it's necessary to uh, confirm the minutes of the previous council meetings to do that in private. <laughs> well, no, maybe not, no. <laughs> okay, so from items 112, on. We're a bit nitpicking there, but anyhow, do go on. Okay, so can we take a vote on whether um, to support making the meeting held in private from items 112 through to the finish, please? Is item Those in favour? <laughs> so I can see one, two, three. Sorry, what was the proposal there? Sorry. Like uh, in favour of making the meeting in private for item 112. So I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right, Liz? Six in favour? I can't even see that many. But... Okay, um, all those against? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Certainly more than I think. It's, yeah, it's about it's about ten, Liz. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the meeting will not be held in in private. So um. Let us hope that they never do anything wrong, and then that won't be reciprocated. Okay, thank you, Councillor Roberts. Right. Let's move on to um, item one hundred and eleven. Confirm the minutes of the previous council meeting. Anyone like to propose those minutes? Yeah, Councillor Blacker, thank you. Seconded, Councillor Brook. Okay, all those in favour? I've got a problem with the minutes of the meeting. I've got a few comments on them. Okay, Councillor Dalton, which, what comments do you have? <coughs> Item number... Um, <coughs> Two zero two one ninety two. Two matters. <coughs> Item uh, five uh, resolved to approve equality and diversity policy. There's nowhere in the minutes recorded that an amendment was proposed, seconded, and voted on. Um, the minutes really should record the amendment, the wording of the amendment, the proposal that it was proposed, seconded, and that it was defeated under a vote. The, the minutes, as, um, as a general position, Councillor Dalton, we don't record 
uh, votes that are unsuccessful, we record votes that are successful. Uh, and in that the, instance, um, the majority voted in favour. Well, my, my of comments have put my comments have pointed to the to the to the minute, and um, I've given my comments as that the minute doesn't reflect what was discussed in the meeting. Uh, and the second item there is at four at 8.45, in the same uh, minute item, 8.45, Councillor Dalton suggested the meeting should end as it had exceeded the limit of one and a half hours. I actually um, uh, made my suggestion uh, two hours into the meeting and it was approximately on, well, on my, on my, on my clock at uh, three minutes past uh, nine, I believe. Okay, thank um, you, Councillor Dalton. That's, um, I think that's that, that item. That, Second, that can be um, updated because because you're right. The the limit of the meeting is two hours, so we can make that change. Thank you for that. Um, item number ninety six on the same minutes. Yeah. Again, um, a request was was or a question was asked as to why we were spending eight hundred and fifty quid on an item that you could purchase up front to, in total for around about three hundred and twenty quid, and that um, that uh, has not been reflected in the minute. But again, I've I've made my comment. If you don't want to change the minutes to reflect that, okay. again, Councillor Dalton, the full details of all discussions are not covered in the minutes. It's about the resolutions and decisions that we make. Indeed, item twenty twenty one one hundred four resolution. It was resolved to defer item 2021-104, uh, resolved to defer this to the next council meeting, that's to consider the issue making grants to churches, or more specifically, uh, it was, the item was um, relating to, uh, in, in, in the previous, in the agenda item, the item was um, re relating to the funding of the maintenance of the church clocks. Uh, there's no item on today's council meeting agenda, um, which is the deferred item from this meeting relating to the church clocks. Well, this is an extraordinary council meeting rather than the next full council meeting. So normally deferrals will be to the next full council meeting. And that's what's reflected. So that will appear on the next full council meeting agenda, yes. will it? Yeah. Thank you. That's all my comments on the minutes. Thank you for those comments. All right, so can we um, yep. take a vote to approve those minutes subject to the uh, All right. correction from one and a half hours to two yeah. hours. Yeah. All those in favour? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Kath. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Can, I, can I just add one to that, please? Just a query. Uh, item 87. And uh, I was at the Climate Emergency Committee meeting. Um, but I don't appear on the uh, on the list. <coughs> so, that's right. you're one of the members of the climate emergency committee. Looks as if council of Earth has been put on there twice. So it looks like there's been an error. Maybe yeah, it that's it. Council Dollar means the Council of Earth. Yeah. 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 I need to put Councillor Bellamy on there and take one of the firsts off. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank, 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 you thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for spotting that, Councillor Bellamy. Okay, so subject to those two amendments of one and a half hours to two hours and um, the replacement of an um, erroneous <coughs> Councillor Firth turning into Councillor Trevor Bellamy, can we move those minutes, please? Yeah, all those in favour? Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, um, so the next item is to consider the decision notice published by the monitoring officer of Kirtley's Council regarding a breach of the Code of Conduct by one of our councillors. Obviously we were made aware at the previous full council meeting that the decision notice had been uh, published and the purpose of tonight's meeting is to um, consider this, consider the um, decision notice and what the um, position is for the parish council in terms of um, considering applying its proposals. So um, the first first element um, is that the councillor, and in this instance it's um, councillor James Dalton, is required to address the council and offer an explanation for his 
uh, behaviour and an apology. So, um, Councillor Dalton, um, in line with standing orders, you have uh, three minutes in which to um, give a response, if you wish, to what is outlined in the decision notice, which we is our other piece of information to consider. Yeah, I mean, briefly, um, no, I'm not going to explain my conduct in my private life to any of you. It's none of the business of the Home Valley Parish Council. Um, you're not the judges of my behaviour. And uh, no, you won't get an apology. Um, the monitoring officer has, again, fallen into the basic trap of not understanding plain English. And I'd like to um, refer all councillors to the um, code of conduct, which we, well, which we signed or which we adopted, either one. Let's go with the latest one that we've not signed. We've signed the Home Valley Parish Council. Uh, code of conduct from 2019 but let's go with the latest one that we've got on offer um and i hope you'll give me a little bit of leeway chair as we go through this because the application of the code of conduct and this applies to us all application uh, code of conduct i don't know if any of you have this in front of you to review as we go through it it really would be handy and rich will please um, interject if he thinks that I've misspoken or misquoted from the Code of Conduct. Uh, the Code applies to you as a member of Kirklees Council, the authority. The Parish Council have adopted this, so for that read, uh, members of the Parish Council or co-opted members of the Parish, Parish Council. And it is your personal responsibility to comply with the requirements of this Code. This Code sets out the standards of behaviour required of you and, and applies to you whenever you act in the capacity of an elected or co-opted member of the authority, including, let me repeat that, it applies to you whenever you act in the capacity of an elected or co-opted member of the authority, including, and then it lists seven inclusions, at meetings of the authority, when acting as a representative of the authority, in taking any decision as a cabinet member or a ward councillor, in discharging your functions as a ward councillor, at, at briefing meetings with officers and at site visits, when corresponding with the authority other that than in a private capacity. Now, I understand that the monitoring officers' um, uh, activities are under much discussion at uh, places further afield than the Home Valley Parish Council. Um, but there's a bit of a God complex going on here, um, judging people for activities left, that have nothing to do with the council or the code of conduct as it's defined, as its application is defined. Now, the monitoring officer themselves will be in receipt of correspondence separately with regard to their handling of complaints. Um, but that's the status. You won't be getting an apology. It's none of your business what I do in my private time. And uh, I won't be judged by either the monitoring officer at Kirklees or this council. Okay, thank you for those comments, Councillor Dalton. <clears throat> okay, so um, in terms of reviewing the um, Decision notice, obviously, um, the councillor was referred to um, Kirtley's monitoring officer in line with um, our agreed approach to um, codes of conduct. And as a result, we've had the decision notice, which gives um, five different um, uh, recommended courses of, courses of action. As you'll all be aware, um, Councillor Dalton is currently under um, sanctions um, which last until May 2021 in terms of only being able to sit on um, full council um, and indeed many of the, the other things within this within this list were within those original sanctions. So um, in terms of, I'll just read out what the decision notice has asked the parish council to consider um, uh, deciding or agreeing as its course of action. First is to request an apology from Councillor Dalton. Um, clearly, Councillor Dalton's made clear he, he doesn't feel he should have to apologise. 
Um, the second is to require Council Dalton to delete all the remaining tweets that have been complained of. And obviously the tweets are referred to in the details of the, the report we've received. The third is to require Councillor Dalton to edit his Twitter handle and biography to remove all references to him being a councillor, um, as the Twitter account refers to him as, um, as Councillor Dalton. Um, and fourthly is to make an additional request that Councillor Dalton attends diversity training. Um, as you may recall, that was one of the um, actions we took previously. And finally, that the Parish Council formally censures him. So um, I would suggest that we go through each of those um, items and agree whether we would like to enact those. So um, the first one, request an apology from Councillor Dalton, clearly we've, we've done that now. Um, yep. then Something it, I's dealt with. Right. Okay, Councillor. Just before you go on to I, I may I make a a, a, a question? Make here? a very brief brief question. Yes. Yeah. Um, how how are you going to enforce any any decision you make? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to delete anything. Okay. I'll say, well, I'll say as what I, what what I uh, I'll express myself as I see fit. Okay. Thank you for those comments, Councillor Dalton. Okay. Well, with that in mind, um, the the rest of the full council then has to consider what we um, think is appropriate. So in terms of requesting an apology, um, we've, we've already done that. There's clearly Councillor Dalton's made clear he's not willing to give one. That doesn't mean we can't formally request one. Um, so I would propose that we are going to formally write to Councillor Dalton as well as express our um, disappointment that he is not willing to give an apology to full council as a result of this um, uh, decision notice. So I'd like to propose that we formally request that apology. Does anyone wish to second that? Okay, Councillor Colling, thank you. All those in favour? Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's the first thing we'll do. Um, moving on to the second thing, um, now, again, Councillor Dalton's indicated he will not do this, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't um, consider doing it. Councillor Dalton, you've had your opportunity to speak on these. It's for you the rest. You didn't call a vote for against. To consider. You, you called a vote. Point of order. You called a vote. You asked for votes for. Yes, but it was a majority vote, Councillor Dalton, and therefore it's carried. Right. All, all the rest of the votes at this meeting, I'd like to be recorded by the uh, clerk, please. Okay, if you if you wish. Right. Um, so the next the so next one require Councillor Dalton to delete all the remaining tweets that have been complained of. Again, Councillor Dalton's indicated that he's not going to do this. We should still, um, in my view, articulate that this is unacceptable, and he has been required to delete these tweets, which are deemed both offensive and contrary to our code of conduct. And therefore, I would propose that we formally request that he does that. Anyone like to second that? Okay, thank you, Councillor Bucker. Okay, all those in favour, please raise your hands. Okay, and anyone against? Anyone against? Okay, this one. You, you keep keeping a note of this, Liz. I've just got one against Councillor Brooke. Okay, any abstentions? Okay, three abstentions. No, this the, uh, both Councillor Bellamy's, Councillor Roberts, oh. Councillor Dixon, and Councillor Gould, I think. Right. Okay. Okay, so that's um, carried as well. Then the third one is to uh, require Councillor Dalton to edit his Twitter handle and biography to remove all references to him being a councillor. So, as I say, this is because his um, Twitter handle has the word councillor in front of it, and uh, <laughs> Councillor Dalton is a parish councillor and that is the only means by which he has that title that's why we are requesting that so again i would propose that whilst he indicates he is not willing to do this we formally request that he does okay so can i propose that anyone second that thank you councillor dixon okay all those in favor okay 
Can you your hand, hands nice and clear, please? Got everyone, Liz? Ten. So it's, uh, so it's probably more than ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got Councillor Ogley, Councillor Blacker, Councillor Colling, Councillor Tom Dixon, Councillor Pogson, um, Councillor Carey, Councillor Feeney, Councillor Barker, Councillor Hall, Councillor East, um, Councillor Sweeney. I think that's all I could see. Okay, anyone against? Anyone against? Okay, I can't see anyone against. Any abstentions? Okay, so we've got Councillor Gould, Councillor Paul Dixon, Councillor Brooke, Councillor Roberts, uh, Councillor Kath Bellamy and Councillor Trevor Bellamy and Councillor Lockley. Okay, so that's carried as well. Okay, the fourth recommendation is to request that Councillor Dalton attends diversity training. Um, <coughs> Okay, so I would propose again that we formally do that. So, can I look for a seconder for that proposal? Councillor Carey, thank you. Okay, all those in favour requesting that Councillor Dalton attend diversity training? Okay, so we've got me, Councillor Blacker, Councillor Colling, Councillor Tom Dixon, Councillor Pogson, Councillor Carey, Councillor Feeney, Councillor Hall, Councillor Barker. Councillor Sweeney, Councillor Lockley, and Councillor East. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, and all those against? Councillor Paul Dixon? Two. Councillor Brooke? Okay, any abstentions? Councillor Roberts, Councillor Kath and Trevor Bellamy's? Oh, Councillor Gould? Okay. Okay. Right, so the final um, final item is requesting former censure by um, Parish Council of Councillor Dalton. Now, what I'd um, remind councillors is um, what I said earlier, that Councillor Dalton is already subject to um, effectively the maximum sanctions we can um, impose in terms of he is not entitled to sit on any committees or represent the council on any outside bodies. That's currently um, extended to May 2021. Um, I would propose that we consider extending that for a longer period of time. Um, I would propose we extend that to May 2022. And I'd look for a seconder for that proposal. Okay, um, Councillor Barker, thank you. Okay, so can we take votes in favour of, um, sorry, is Councillor Carey wanting to say, say something before we? Yeah, possible. Um, when we talk about censure, is it, are we going to be have the opportunity after this to discuss further censures as well as the extended um, exclusion from committees? Because I think there's other things we can and should do as a parish. Okay, well, perhaps before, given this is the last um, recommendation, clearly formal censure is determined yes, 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 by yes, Councillor Dalton. Please let me finish, then I'll let you um, make your point. Um, this is the final Excuse recommendation. Me, a point of order needs dealing with in, in accordance with the standing orders, and I've made a point of order, so perhaps you'll hear it. What's your point of order, Councillor Dalton? As somebody who's not a member of this council has just spoken in this council meeting. Councillor Dalton. Be, uh, Councillor Dalton, should be tolerated. Councillor Dalton, all councillors, and this has been confirmed to you on several occasions, all councillors who are members of the parish council have the same voting rights, whether they are elected or co-opted, whether they're elected in a contested or a non-contested seat. I will not have you speak to another councillor in that way. Right, um, coming back to the point, the final recommendation is the formal censure. Obviously, that could be done in different ways. I've made a um, sort of outline proposal of extending the sanctions that we previously imposed to May 2022, but this is probably the right opportunity for people to express any other um, 
things they think should be considered in that that discussion. So um, does anyone wish to propose anything different or to reflect on whether that is um, uh, I guess a, a sufficient thing to, to, to go ahead with? Can I just can make a point? Can we start with Councillor Caro then Councillor Roberts please? Can, mm. And then Councillor Brooke. Thank you Chair. Um, I guess my, my concerns are, is there a way for us to actually communicate effectively our position and our disgust at the behaviour of um, one of our councillors who continues to operate in our name, won't accept any responsibility for the upset that is caused. And I think that, you know, we could be on the front foot in terms of um, contacting the press, putting it on the website. Um, so it's really clear that this parish has disassociated itself as much as possible with the behaviour of, of Dalton because I'm, I'm continually offended by him. He soaks up a lot of our time. He's wasting my time this evening and he's just not prepared to apologise. Just sits there with a smug smile on his face as anybody watching this on YouTube can see. And he seems to think he's above um, reason and, and above, you know, any, any, anything we lay out that should be done. So I think, I, I, what I guess my concern is that we, they shouldn't just be buried in the minutes. We should actually be something much more public facing saying what um, our position is. Okay, thank you. So I guess you're proposing some form of press statement. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right, Councillor Roberts. Yeah, can I just say that you say that if uh, that all people that are on, on the parish council have voting rights. That's not quite correct because on the Climate Emergency Committee there are approximately eight to ten people <coughs> who have been co-opted onto the parish, on, onto the Climate Emergency Committee and they have no voting rights. Yes, but they're not parish councillors, Councillor Roberts. They're co-opted members of the public who um, support us on that particular committee. Point of order. Right. Can we move on to Councillor Brooke? No, we can't. Well, there's nobody co-opted onto the climate change. There are there are members appointed to the climate change Councillor emergency Dalton. committee. We're, Councillor Dalton, please. There are no co -op There's only one co-opted member on this council. Councillor Dalton, and that's I'll ask you to leave the meeting. Right. Can we move on to Councillor Brooke? Had a comment. It's a couple of things, really. Um, I'm a bit worried that, you know, extending the uh, Council of Dalton to 2022, mm. because it's become, beginning to come to a point where what is the point to be a councillor if you can't vote, you know, be part of a group? Uh, we need to look at something more serious, what we can do with Council of Dalton, where it can be a benefit to the council. Uh, we are looking at the negative. We need to look at something what we can do to work with the gentleman as a councillor. You know, he is a councillor. But also, Council Plot is not Council uh, is not the only problem in the council. The behaviour of some councillors needs to be looked at and I think we need to start looking at the bigger picture here. And not just picking on one particular council because it's an easy time at the present. Okay, this is Councillor Brooke, but this, uh, the Councillor Dalton is being spoken about because he's been complained about by members of the public and as a result has been investigated for a breach of the Code of Conduct. It doesn't excuse any other members of the council, any other members of the council would be treated in the same way if they were to breach the code of conduct with san appropriate sanctions being considered. Right, Councillor Tom Dixon. Yeah, um, in, in response to Jason, um, I, I would be happy for Councillor Dalton to rejoin committees and for sanctions to be lifted. If he was to um, apologise <laughs> to the parish council, uh, remove his tweets, offensive tweets, uh, edited his Twitter and uh, blog and uh, attend diversity training. If he was to do those things which we've um, asked of him previously, then it, it would. Be, I think the council should reconsider him being on committees, but um, he hasn't done them things what we asked him to do previously. He's continued to put very offensive tweets on Twitter and, um, to, and to, to breach the council stand, um, code of conduct. So I, I think the sanctions should remain in place and um, 
I, I would uh, like to second Doug's suggestion that we <laughs> condemn him for what he's been doing recently. Okay, thank you, Councillor Dixon. Right, Councillor Pogson and then Councillor Dixon Senior. Um, having received a number of telephone calls from members of the public regarding um, um, Councillor Dal Dalton's tweets in the past and having to speak to members of the public and deal with their upset um, in the past and what have you, I'm more concerned that, th that those people who were offended by his tweets receive an apology. Now, if that's an apology that's received to the parish council and extends to them, then, um, you know, then I'm, you know, I think we can move on and we can get, get to a constructive play, way of working with Councillor Dalton, you know. However, if he's not going to apologise to people who um, suffered upset and distress from his tweets, then, uh, I don't see how we can, we can go, we can move on further. Okay, thank you. Councillor Paul Dixon. Uh, I don't do tweets. I don't know exactly what James has put on, what he hasn't put on. Um, it's not my way of doing business. There's more to be got from Councillor Dalton in his knowledge than to just sanction him and stop him from being on all committees. As regards planning, he knows more about planning than most of the planning committee. Um, I think it's totally unfair to take it any further. Um, I think to allow Councillor Dalton to go back onto committees would not be a bad thing and it might be to the benefit of the council. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Councillor, Councillor Dixon. I just remind um, councillors, even if you haven't seen uh, the tweets talked about, the decision notice is, is clear of the scale of the number of different issues that were being considered. There are 21 different complaints and there were um i think there's six different different themes and they're not just um they're, there's a whole range of different issues and all of all of the complaints were substantiated in terms of breaching the code of conduct in numerous ways so there were um ones uh basically causing grievous offense to a number of different people who complained about it Okay, um, Councillor Brooke, do you want to add something? Yeah, uh, Councillor Poxon just made a suggestion that if Councillor Poxon would be prepared to apologise to people he's upset, I was wondering would Councillor Dalton be prepared to, to do that? Okay, well, Councillor Dalton has his hand up, so let's um, ask that question, Councillor Dalton. Would um, you be prepared to apologise to all the people who've complained about your um, let's not language used on tweet? You asked a question about matters to be raised at the next meeting on this subject matter and I had my hand up to respond to that. I'd like to um, discuss uh, in that meeting the contents of the letter sent by the Clerk of the Council on the 7th of July of this year, to 2020, um, to the Local Government Association uh, that's item N from the meeting um, in... Councillor Dalton, this is talking about right. something entirely different. No, you asked what, what um, issues you wanted to be discussed at the next meeting when you're going to discuss uh, the, the matters of the sanctions after you've written to me. And I, I, I'm, I'm no, saying I said that I, I would like at that meeting the contents of the letter to the Local Government Association from the Clerk of the Council on the 7th of the 7th Item N. Councillor Dalton, tonight's meeting is to discuss the decision notice that we've been issued and our response this to it. This letter relates to the. This letter relates to the whole issue of the the response and the sanctions. Well, Councillor Dalton, and I'd like it to be discussed in this decision at the next meeting we when we're discussing. Councillor so Dalton. that's my answer to that. As regards to the previous the question that was asked of Councillor Jason Brook. And um, I understand uh, your posi position, Councillor uh, Brooke, but uh, uh, and um, sympathise with your, your your position. You and and I think. Are you willing to apologise to the complainants, Councillor Dalton? I think it's clear that no. If somebody's offended uh, okay, by anything yeah. I put on Twitter, that's it. They, they don't have to follow me on Twitter. They don't have to read it. They can okay. switch it Councilor off. Councillor Dalton. They're Councilor not getting an fine. apology. Is okay, that clear? You're not willing to apologise. So thank you for. 
clarifying that. So in that case, um, I'd like to go back to my previous proposal that in light of the fact that Councillor Dalton is clearly neither willing to apologise to the council nor to the complainants, um, and by virtue of, of doing that, he clearly doesn't recognise that what he is writing in his um, capacity as um, as a councillor on his Twitter It's account. not in my capacity as a councillor. It's your name, Councillor It Dalton. clearly states that it's my own opinion and not that of the council on my Twitter bio. In Anybody can read it. You want me to read it out for you now? Councillor Dalton, in the review of um, the tweets, oh, I've the heard. full application of, to be honest, the feedback we've had from the decision notice is very clear. You have offended considerable numbers of people and people have read your tweets in light of the fact that you're a councillor. Therefore, you are bringing um, yourself against the, the code of conduct. You are, you are not treating others with respect and you're not acting in the principles of public life that we are all expected to do as councillors. Therefore, I'd like to propose um, my, or reiterate my proposal, that we extend the sanctions of only being able to sit on full council and not being permitted to sit on committees um, until May 2022 to Councillor Dalton, unless he um, issues an apology and um, amends his Twitter handle uh, so that it does not say councillor on, on the start of it and apologises to those who complained to him in the first place. Madam Chairman, can I make a counter proposal please? Okay, yeah. My proposal is um, slightly different to what you did. I think um, Councillor Dodson has got a lot of useful information and to take him off um, these committees is Probably wrong. Could we not do it as a non-voting member of the committees, so he can participate but not vote on conclusions? Because he has he has a lot of information which would be useful for the council, and taking them out is not good. Uh, no. Okay. Does anyone wish to have a comment? Can you cast that on the proposal. Do I need to repeat that? I think Councillor Brooks saying that Councillor Dalton could remain as a member of committee, bearing in mind the existing sanctions are still in, in place till May 2021, with, um, given there'd be no apologies, there's no reason to um, review that, but we'd be looking ahead as to whether we extend. So um, does anyone have any, uh, does anyone wish to second that? I seem to have lost lots of pictures on people's connections, but I'm not seeing anyone second it. People have gone on to mute to make the reception better for the people who are struggling. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming there's no, no one who's seconding Councillor Brooks' proposal. So, you, so I'd go back to the, um, my previous proposal, which is that we um, look to, well, in the first instance, we're going to write to um, Councillor Dalton confirming the four points that we uh, went through earlier in terms of the, the four recommendations and then in terms of the parish council formally censuring him um, we will be extending his um, uh, well existing sanctions through to May 2022 again with the option that if he is to um, provide an apology to the parish council and to the complainants and edit his twitter handle then we would um, consider reviewing that. Chair, um, additionally, can we add into that the diversity training as well and yeah, uh, the, the yeah. deletion of your tweets? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's all, all, those, all those elements. So, does anyone wish to second that proposal? Thank you, Tom Dixon. Okay, all those in favour of that, please? So we've got um, Councillor Colling, uh, Councillor Hogley, Councillor Carey, Councillor Hall, Councillor East, Councillor Feeney, Councillor Blacker, Councillor Pogson, Councillor Tom Dixon, Councillor Barker, Councillor Sweeney, Councillor Lockley. Twelve. 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 Four. Okay. Anyone against that action? 
that proposal. We've got Councillor Roberts, Councillor Paul Dixon. Two, I think. Okay. Any abstentions? Councillor Gould, Councillor Brook, Councillor Kath Bellamy. Four. And Councillor Trevor Bellamy. Yeah, four. Okay. Thank you for that. Right, in terms of, um, I think the, the final element of that is what was raised by Councillor Carey, which is um, clearly we will write to um, Councillor Dalton uh, formally as, as parish council, um, but also Councillor Carey raised the issue of whether we miss, wish to make a press statement regarding it. So does anyone have any comments in addition to what Councillor Carey has said in terms of responding to our um, residents of the of the valley to confirm what we are able to do okay councillor roberts yeah i think it should be kept out of the press completely you know i'm just opening up an unnecessary can of worms here okay thank you councillor roberts worth bearing in mind quite a lot of these issues have already been in the press um councillor paul dixon Judith, just taking the words out of my mouth it's not something that we need to publish in public if councillor Altman wants to put it in public, let him do it. But we as a council should not be doing that. <laughs> okay, um, councillor Dixon, then councillor Carey. Yeah, uh, part of me thinks that we shouldn't go into a public press statement on this because we, we shouldn't give councillor Dalton the media attention that he craves and that he, that he really likes and that he wants. Ooh. And, and Ooh. part of this is playing into his own... It's giving him what he wants, but the local newspapers already are doing this anyway and uh, giving him enough attention and various things like that. So I, I think we need to be out there saying that we, 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 are, we don't believe the things that he's doing and that we are what, what we are doing as a parish council, the sanctions that we are doing, and we need to be firm and say that we, we, don't, we, we don't represent the beliefs that he has in, in his views. Okay, thank you. Um, Councillor Carey? Thank you, Chair. Yeah, I think the point is that the press will pick up on this anyway, and it's better that we're on the front foot and have got a prepared statement, um, rather than a bit trailing in the wake and then ringing around at the 11th hour trying to get a quote out of people. So I think it's better, and also I think it is important. I do, it, it does grieve me greatly that there will be publicity here that Councillor Dalton will actually relish. But on the other hand, I want to be associated with a council that's made a clear public statement of, um, of disgust at his behaviour and his reluctant refusal to apologise further. I, I really struggle with the fact that he's in the room now. I struggle in the fact that he's looking at me, smiling and smirking away. I don't think he does actually add anything of any merit to this process other than slow down business repeatedly. Um, but we can't do anything about that. What we can do something about is his behaviour and we can make a statement about it. Okay, Councillor Brooke. Yeah, um, if we do go to press, I think we should not, um, to not mention, but do not do not mention any names. Because yes. I think uh, mention names is the wrong thing to do. You just <laughs> said, we've had a meeting, sanctions have been implemented to us, uh, and that should be the way it should be done. I don't think names, names should be mentioned if we do go to press. Okay, thank you, Councillor Blacker. I mean, we've, we've already voted um, not to hold the, these proceedings in public, and that means that in a couple of days, um, all of this is going to appear on is going to appear on YouTube. Uh, and I really think we ought to dissociate ourselves very clearly, and we certainly need to, to name names in this case. Uh, a lot of people have been very upset, and as Councillor Dalton will know, I was one of the, I've complained directly twice about his behaviour, uh, and I know I'm not alone. Many people are very upset and we're asked what's happening. I think we ought to do something really overt, uh, publicise and dissociate ourselves uh, from those despicable tweets. Okay, thank you, Councillor Blacker. I'm very happy okay. for the Labour Party members to disassociate themselves completely from me, by the way. Very happy indeed. Right, Councillor Dalton. Um, 
Right. Okay. So can I propose, therefore, that we Chair. prepare a, a press statement? Chair. Never uh, bother me. Uh, sorry, did Trevor have a comment? Yeah, I, I was just uh, a little bit concerned that the proposal perhaps ought to be run, run past our monitoring officer to to seek the response from that quarter before we took before we move down that uh, into the press. Well, uh, do, do, do we have any information regarding Well, the monitoring press? officer is the one that that's where our the recommendations come from mm. the decision notice prepared through the monitoring office and therefore it's then our decision as to what we want to progress with. Yeah. I would just say is that, is that correct, um, Liz? Yeah, it's it's the council's decision how long um, those sanctions are imposed for. So that's the first part, and um, they have already said to me that we might choose to make a press statement. Right. Okay. So can I can I propose that we do make a press statement um, confirming the sanctions that we have decided on um, this evening? and um, issue that in the in the next next few days does anyone wish to second that proposal okay um councillor colling i know quite a few hands went up but <laughs> i think it's the first one i spotted okay um all those in favor we've got councillor hogley councillor colling councillor carrie councillor hall councillor tom dixon councillor shawnees councillor uh, Pogson, Councillor Councillor Barker, Councillor Barker, Barker can't hear and neither can Councillor Feeney. They're, they need to vote. They want to vote. Right, okay. Um, can they not hear anything at all? Uh, uh, Councillor Barker, could you could you hear that that proposal? It was to have a it was to do a press statement. Got to unmute, unmute yourself, um, Councillor Barker. Right. Right. I, yeah, I got that. Thank you. So it's a, it's a vote to. So all those. I'm sorry. So we're, we'll do it again. All those in favour of doing a press statement um, outlining the sanctions that we're uh, <coughs> imposing on Councillor Dalton, and to issue that press statement in the next few days to formally, um, is it, uh, well, to, to formally censure him. So all those in favour. So we've got I make that ten so far, but then Councillor Councillor Hockley, Councillor Colling, Councillor Carey, Councillor Hall, Councillor Tom Dixon, Councillor East, Councillor. Well, if you need another vote, I'll vote. Councillor Lockley, Councillor Sweeney, Councillor Barker. Okay, anyone against? Who votes against? Oh, I don't want it. Press I don't want it published. Okay, Councillor Roberts. No. I don't want it published. And Councillor Paul Dixon, both against. Okay, any abstentions? Mm. Councillor Gould, oh. Councillor Bellamy's, and Councillor Brook. Okay. Madam Chairman, somebody just swore on, on that bit then, and I can't, would I ask them to apologise for saying that, please? When Councillor Dalton said that he would vote to make his video, somebody told him to off. Oh, I think right. was on call language. In all honesty, I did not hear anybody swear, but that's not to say that. So I just remind all councillors to use appropriate language in this meeting. Okay, so I think that brings um, matters to to a conclusion. Good. Um, is there anything else, Liz? No. Are we, are we all clear? Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for attending this evening. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, well done. Thank <laughs> you.